guys welcome to water baby tarot this is the first half of december love reading for gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter i hope you guys are doing good so i'm just gonna jump right into the meditative session you guys know how this works if you're new stick around i'm gonna reiterate the rules a little bit further down after we talk about the meditative session and after we do the pre-shuffle there is also a video link below for how to interpret tarot as a viewer so go ahead and check that out if you're really new to tarot okay so Gemini's, I picked up on a lot of different stuff, as always for you. you <laughs> Gemini's, I don't know what it, well, no, I know why. I know why. I think I said this in every single video for you, for you guys. When I tap into your energy, you guys just hit me with visuals and I get words. I get all kinds of shit. So Gemini's, let's just go there. So first of all, I did pick up a lot of feminine energy. I feel like this is specifically for the feminine energy collective. Now it's energy, so this could include male the gender of men um anyway uh i love this energy because it was just so much energy out of the heart space it was almost just like a force out of the heart space it wasn't anger it wasn't bad and it wasn't like it wasn't sadness it wasn't even lovey-dovey compassion it just felt like a force of energy out of your heart chakras and that i thought was really cool um you could just be really open right now and feeling really confident and strong in your emotions and in expressing your emotions. I also heard the word arrival and I was like, oh, oh, let's go there. Uh, so I got to be honest. I, I, again, I feel like this is for my feminine energy. Gemini's men, you can also be included in that. So just know that. Take it as it resonates. And of course, it's energy. It can be vice versa. Okay. So when I got a rival, first of all, I think you guys are doing a lot of traveling. Some of you guys could be picking people up from the airport and whatnot. But I feel like there's been a new arrival in your life, feminine Geminis. Um, I don't think you've no I don't think they're in your life yet. I think they're coming. It's like it's almost like a brand new package. It's like <laughs> Like an arrival of a package at your door and like you can't wait to open it, you know? It's like, oh, maybe someone's visiting you. I just realized maybe someone's actually visiting you, Gemini's. <laughs> oh, thank you, spirit. Oh my God, that's so funny. Yeah, some of you guys are gonna have a visitor. Uh, that's, that, and you can't like, you can't wait to open the door. I thought that's, so, okay, that's really cute. Thank you, sorry, they're talking to me. That's really, really cute. Um, it does like a new romance, okay? So just keep that in mind. It can be a new friend. It could also be a new offer, just like in business, but it does feel like an actual visit from a person or like an actual face-to-face -face encounter with a human being okay and it feels brand new it feels exciting it feels awesome oh they just showed me the six of swords okay so you could be just heading off into some kind of new exciting chapter in your life oh you know this camera it's been kind of funky today i meant to check if i actually clean the lens well because <laughs> i cleaned it before i did the partner reading but i'm not happy with it tonight anyway gemini's let's get back to you now that being said then i heard Wrecking Ball, the song, I was kind of surprised because I feel like that's a very different energy than what I was picking up on before. And sometimes I pick up on different groups and different messages for different groups. So if you're not resonating with anything in the first like 10, 15 minutes, just stick around like it's like the 20 minute mark. Usually by then you'll be able to tell if I'm going to have anything for you. Um, but I was hearing the, the lyrics from that song. I'll put the link down below. I'll try to remember. Um, but then I heard echo, like after they gave me some of the lyrics, I heard echo. And I was like, oh, okay. So whoever's energy is resonating with that, I actually feel like it's just in the energy field, but it's fleeting, like it's passing. So it could be, you know, maybe you're healing from some wounds around a relationship that didn't go well. If you don't know that song, it's basically like, you know, wrecking a relationship because it, you, you know, didn't go about it the right way, right? So some of you guys could be healing wounds around that with someone, or it could be just a pattern that you're breaking, or it could be someone within your environment or within the situation that's not you, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's echo, it's fleeting, it's leaving the situation anyway. So I thought it was kind of interesting they made a point to like even even mention that to me. Um, mm. Sorry, I'm just getting stuck. Gemini, is there something about your image? There, you're, people are taking notice. People are taking notice of your image. I don't know if you changed anything recently, but people are taking notice of that. Yeah, people are taking notice of that. Um, anyway, they wanted me to just mention that. They were showing me a bunch of different things I was just paraphrasing for you. <clears throat> Now, I was also picking up on masculine energies as well, okay? So that doesn't usually happen where it's like it's so deciphered like that just in the, in the intuitive meditative session, but I thought it was kind of cool that it was. Uh, I feel very masculine energy that's like that's really lacking in courage, okay? Uh, they've got a lot of emotion. They're kind of going through a little bit of emotional roller coaster internally, but I, I feel like they just have like 
betrayal and changes but i heard betrayal like betrayal and changes changes specifically in their mind a little like like almost like too fixated on it. i'm like i can't even like look at the camera uh too fixated on it and it's really discouraging them changes are happening or they have to make changes and they're aware of it they don't really know how to deal with it they like they don't really know how to deal with it i'm also getting an energy of like feeling very like defenseless like at the mercy of these changes, at the mercy of these changes or possible betrayal that is happening to them or that they're a part of, okay? All right, Gemini, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. They're, they're telling me arrival again. I'm loving that though. I'm so loving that. Okay. All right, guys, so it's just the pre-shuffle and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the reading of after this, okay? For those who are new. Thank you for coming to the premiere, by the way. Hello. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Please important any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages. Sorry, they're showing me a deer. Um, deers to me, to me, uh, take them as they resonate. If that's like a personal message for you or confirmation you've been needing, then there it is. But for me, I would interpret that more as like very alpha leader energy. Someone's needing to take the lead role in something or become very alpha in something. Go for something that they want. Green light. I just heard green light. You have the green light. You have the, you have, okay, whoever's needing the green light, you have the green light. Anyway, I don't know what that was about. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, I show me things. And Jupiter for the first half of December. So they had a crown. You're wearing your crown. You have your crown. I'm talking to feminine energies here. You you have your crown. You've earned it. You have it. That's a weird message, but they want me to say that to you. You have it. Please include any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Just heard November. So we're still in November as I'm filming. <clears throat> November 3rd. I just That's weird. November 3rd just came through. That's going to be for somebody. Uh, I'm guessing something really big happened in November for you. Gemini's is coming up in December, okay? Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Gemini. Oh, we got two wands in reverse. Aries energy. So yeah, things are moving. Things are moving forward. No more stagnation. No more stagnation. Feminine energies, I do feel a lot of movement with you. I feel like you've been on the move. You've been progressing. I feel like my masculine energies, at least the ones I was, the one I was feeling, the ones, the ones, Jesus, the collective I was feeling earlier, getting really stuck in that headspace, right? Getting really stuck in that headspace. They might be getting out of that very soon. Meeting at the crossroads. What the hell? Meeting at the crossroads just came in. Meeting at the crossroads. Please, oh, there might be a faded meeting in here for some of you. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, ooh, seven of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting a sense of time with this. Oh, that's so weird. And I said faded meeting might be involved in here. So yeah, th this could indicate that there's a faded meeting involved. Um, and it's like now, it's now. Things, things need to get moving to keep this on track is what I'm getting. That's going to only be for some of you. But Seven of Pentacles in reverse, I am getting an energy of like time is a wasting or time is basically out. So you have to go. Green, They're telling me green light again. You have to go. Okay. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Keep in mind, like I said, I get different messages for everybody. So take home, take home only what resonates. If something doesn't resonate, then it ain't for you. Okay. Ooh, Empress. There's my feminine energies. Look at you sitting pretty. Yeah, you have your crown. She's not wearing a crown in this, but you have your crown. You have your crown. They want me to really emphasize that to you. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you're not sure you, you're in the right place or that you've, you're have you at like the, the end of something or you've achieved something or maybe you're thinking you need to do more. You have your crown. You have it. 
Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. They keep showing they keep showing me like like a royal setting. Like it's very strange. Let's see here. Oh, five of pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Yeah, empresses, if you yeah, that's what this is. That's why they want me to tell you this over and over. You're coming from a five of pentacles energy, Empress. Um, or someone's wanting to uplift you out of that, but I feel like you did it yourself. I feel like you did it yourself. Maybe you you know, just earned a lot of money. Maybe you dug yourself out of a hole or got yourself out of a bad situation or got yourself out of a place of feeling lonely or feeling a lack or not feeling good about yourself. Either way, you have your crown. You've got it. Your job is done there. You've got it. Ooh, high priestess on the bottom. I'm going to spend a little bit more time in this and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading. Please import any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, someone is in the... Whoa, that was weird. I was like, I know that doesn't say pentacles, but they show me the word pentacles. Four of swords. Four of swords is usually an energy of um, recovery, taking a break, being thankful for getting through a painful time. It's like that battery recharge after a really awful time, a really exhausting time before you like you get up and go again. Second round. I just heard second round. Oh, some of you guys might be boxers or no boxers. Gaining clarity on a situation. Okay, Empress, whatever puts you in the Five of Pentacles energy to begin with, it was almost like you got knocked down. Something shook your confidence or knocked you down financially. And you're out of that. You're out of that. But why am I getting sad? The fact that I got second round is kind of unnerving me a little bit. You might be too on guard empresses of a second round looming like you're wondering if you're going to get knocked down again or you're wondering if the same thing is going to happen to you again i don't think it will i don't think it will don't do any self-fulfilling prophe prophecies okay all right gemini's let's go ahead and get into your reading for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot please know these messages are very very general they i, I basically am reading for thousands of people so they're not going to be for everybody messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention so if this isn't for you it ain't for you and that's okay there are a lot of readers on youtube that are fabulous so go ahead and check them out if you're not resonating with me now keep in mind energy is fluid not linear so messages will be reversed or vice versa. Keep in mind, we also read um, energies, not gender. Okay, so don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is for the first half of December, but whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it because time is not linear either. Okay, if you have any other questions or curiosities, like what signs you should watch or, you know, what certain uh, terms mean or lingo means and all of that. Please, by all means, watch the uh, video below called How to Interpret Tarot Rings as a Viewer. Okay, why is the camera shaking so much? Hmm? Maybe that will stop it. Let's keep going. By the way, all my decks are, are linked below if you want them for yourself. I get most of them on Amazon. Uh, this is the Santa Muerte deck. I haven't used it in a while. Felt really drawn to it for you guys, but let's go into it. Let's go into it. I'm hearing the word gold, actually. <laughs> That's so crazy gold <laughs> all right gemini's i'm gonna take that as a really positive sign for you gemini fe feminines my feminine energies i'm feeling like you're like you're looking like gold what is that you're looking like gold you get a tan recently i don't know it's basically fall going into winter um i'm just getting like you're the you're gold you're gold you're like gold any messages for gemini regarding love for the first half of december i don't think you realize that yet okay yeah some of my feminine gemini's you know you're valuable you don't understand the full extent that's really interesting you don't understand the full extent of your value you need to do a little self-check in there okay because it's not that you're not confident it's not that you don't think you know well of yourself you do it's just you don't understand your full capacity. Oh, guys, come on. You're not understanding your full capacity here of your power and of your capabilities and what you can really do and how people see you and how people see you. Any messages for my Gemini's? Regarding love for the first half. Ooh, page of swords in reverse. Gross. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> Page of Swords in Reverse is not having clarity. It's also lies and illusions and deceit or holding back of communication. Let's get more cards out to see what the... Oh, Jesus. Oh. We got a Queen of Cups. Cancerian Energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, you need to do some self-reflection here. My feminine energies. Do a little self-reflection here. And what did I say about all that energy from your, your, like your heart space? Look at that. Your heart space is all lit up. Yeah, you just have a lot of force coming out of your heart space. It's force. It's not, it's not pain. It's not like love. It's just a force. It's very interesting. There's something going on with your energy right now that's very amplified. It's very amplified. Either you guys just came out of a really intense healing period or you just cleansed. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, or you guys just cleanse or you're planning a cleanse or a detox. With the Page of Pentacles, though, you're trying to look at something in a new way. You're trying to look at something in a new way and maybe it's because you don't have a clear understanding of it or someone's not talking to you or you're not talking to somebody. We're going to look at that Page of Swords because that's like really, it's actually bothering me. Why do I feel irritated by it? I feel annoyed by it. It's annoying you. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Whatever's going on with this energy, whether it's lies or your lack of clarity or you're not talking to someone or someone's not talking to you, it's irritating you. <laughs> it's irritating you. Let's see. Any other messages from my Geminis regarding love for the first half of December? Let's see here. Oh, the hanged man. Piscean energy. So there seems to be a standstill going on here. With that, whatever it is you're trying to take a, a new perspective on, my Queen of Cups, my feminine energies, there's a standstill while you're doing this. There's a pause going on and it, I, it's bothering you. I can feel it. It's really bothering you. You're not trying to let it bother you, but it is. It totally is. You're very aware that like there needs to be forward movement in something, but it's not happening. I think that's why you're trying to figure out what the hell. Maybe I need to look at this differently. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's something I'm missing. It's it's annoying you. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half? Ooh. The magician. Mm -hmm. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. And manifestation is put on hold. Okay. Manifestation is put on hold. I do feel like this is also an energy that you're dealing with. Like, yeah, it feels like a masculine energy that you're dealing with. They're stuck. They're at a pause. Because this person's at a pause... The whole situation between the two of you is at a pause, and it's annoying you. Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini regarding love, the first half of December? And then we get the star. Ooh, Aquarian energy. Well, that's a beautiful energy to end on. The star is faith. It's spirituality. It's also destiny. What's meant to be? What's meant to be? Oh, Queen of Cups, I understand now. Oh, Jesus. Overall energy, we have the hair font. <laughs> Torian energy. Okay. Queens, I'm feeling your irritation here. You're annoyed. No irritation cards on the board. I can just feel it from you. Okay? You got a lot of force and energy coming out of your heart chakra. You could just be very open right now, like I said. Very comfortable in how you actually um, feel emotionally even though you're, you're, you don't understand the full capacity of your power, you might not be aware that you have so much energy coming off of you that people around you are affected by it, by the way. Yeah, I'm definitely picking that up. You're not aware as to how powerful your energy is and it's, it's bothering people or it's affecting people around you. You could be healing people without even really trying for those who have, you know, abilities. Um, others, it could just be very agitating to people who don't have a strong of energy or people who are, who are on very different wavelengths than you are. But either way, you're trying to look at something in a different way. You're trying to figure some shit out here regarding this masculine energy who has really put themselves on hold and in doing so put what's meant to be on hold. This ain't for everybody. This ain't for everybody. This could just be your own path in work, your own path in a relationship, romance, friendship, whatever it is. But it's definitely a path. And I can tell you're annoyed. Over energy, we have the freaking hair font, okay? This is institutions and also spirituality. They got a lot of spirituality cards on the board. Technically, we've got four out of, what is that? Seven. Half. Half of these are about spirituality. 
Some of you could also be going back to school. I'm just going to hang out here before we get more clarifiers. Yeah, some of you might actually be studying something new. Trying to take a new career path. Yeah, some of you are taking a new career path here. Yeah, I just realized on the bottom of the hair font, we do have eight of pentacles. This is definitely learning. This is definitely like higher education or getting some kind of certification of sorts. That's for some of you, not all of you. But there's something about your path, Queen of Cups, that's getting halted. And I feel like it's because of a masculine energy. I can feel your irritation. It's really, it's really bothering you. Really bothering you. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into this further. Let's look at the Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, if you're taking on a new study or you're going back to school or you're trying to get a certification or you're at a new job, whatever it is, be patient with yourself. That could also be where your irritation is coming from. Just be patient. But yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see right away. Tell me the page of swords in reverse. For Gemini regarding love for the first half of December. Some of you, this is purely about your own educational path, okay? And your manifestation of your destiny is just hung up because you're at a point where you just kind of got to learn the learn the ropes, learn the basics. That's for some of you, okay? Where you're pursuing higher education or, cert or certification. But others where this is more about putting in work into a commitment of sorts um, or just getting on your path regarding, you know, work with other people or a relationship or whatnot. There's a masculine energy who's held up in their own shit holding up your shared path, okay? One of the Page of Swords in reverse for Gemini. So choose which belt you're in. One of the Page of Swords in reverse for Gemini regarding love for the first half of December. cups in reverse you and the world in reverse uh which is fixed energy so aquilia taurus scorpio also saturn which does real capricorn here so being upset like it's almost like fight fighting the end of something fighting change fighting change fighting change fighting change but around a page of swords in reverse Maybe you're having trouble under yeah. You're, some of you are having trouble understanding why a change needs to happen or why an ending is happening. So you're trying to take on this new perspective to understand. So another page of swords in reverse. So I'm over the page of swords in reverse. Ew, six of pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Yeah, with your whatever you're irritated about, you just feel like it's really unfair. Um. For, so for those of you where this is about like a going into a new certification or going to school, there's something going on in your life that's forcing you to do it. That's forcing you to go into certification or go back to school or go into a new line of work and you feel like it's really unfair, but you know you have to do it. So you're trying to give it the good old college try. No pun intended. I just realized how that sounded. But you're being halted here because you have to be patient with yourself and learn the basics and learn the ropes and then you can have progress. Okay, so be patient for those where it's just about you and your knowledgeable path okay i don't know what else to call that uh but for those where this is about like <clears throat> a relationship i'm sorry or some kind of commitment i do feel it's about a lack of communication or a lack of honesty here almost like why someone isn't talking to you or why someone's not telling you the truth and you're finding it to be really really unfair really really unfair and you want that shit to end like you want that shit to end. You want you want honesty, you want communication. So you're, you're trying to just, you're trying to look at it differently to get out of that low vibrational energy. Very mature move, but you're having a hard time. Tell me the Page of Swords in reverse. There's her Cancer. Tell me the Page of Swords in reverse for, oh, and Capricorn, Jesus. Tell me the Page of Swords in reverse for Gemini. They are the one sevens of each other. Oh, and they're the North and South node right now. Karma. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh the star and the four of wands did my camera just freak out for no reason if the audio gets messed up i apologize guys i like it always looks fine here and then sometimes if it glitches out and i post it, it like it'll be messed up but sometimes it won't i apologize if the audio is off just listen to the message okay but yeah the star with the freaking four of wands here again I'm, i just keep getting like the path, like your path, your shared destiny here. 
and stability is coming along with that with that four of wands i'm also getting celebration for some there's also an energy of like public recognition but that's not going to be for everybody you know who you are if that applies to you I don't pay the swords in reverse. For some of you going back to school or getting a certification, uh, you're going to be celebrated later on. So just hang in there. Just hang in there. Time out page of swords in reverse. Oh, shit. Time out page of swords in reverse. Queens, I feel you. Time out the page of swords in reverse. Now we have three of wands. Aries energy with the five of pentacles in reverse. When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? <laughs> When is this person going to talk to me? When is this? When am I going to get honesty? When can I finally get out of this energy of wondering? Yeah, it's like you're trying so hard to just take on that new perspective, trying to be high vibe about it, but you're having a really hard time. For those with this involves another person in a relationship level, clearly something that is like meant to be. Um, yeah, and you're just like, when? When, 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 when? You're so irritated. Um, but you're trying hard to not focus on it. So I give you kudos for that. You're trying hard to not focus on it. Uh, but like I said, for those who are also in the, who, for those in this more like schooling certification energy, like I said, you will be celebrated for it. You will get public recognition for some that could even just be a graduation, right? Because Four of Wands is also like events and celebratory energies. Um, yeah, for some of you, it could just be about a graduation that's coming. And then Three of Wands with the Five Pentacles in reverse, trying to wait out the struggle because you're learning the ropes and it's hard and you're finding it to be unfair, but you're getting through it. Overall energy, we have Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. You're trying so hard to let this bother you. No matter what group you're in, the schooling certification group or the, what, what you know, dealing with this other individual who's not talking or not being honest, like you're trying really hard to not let it bother you. Again, kudos to you. Let's look at the page of pentacles and see what this perspective is you're trying to take on. Okay. Or like I said, for those who are in student energy. Hmm. I never know what deck I want anymore. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard to choose. Okay, we'll do honest truth. Turn up the page of pentacles for Gemini. Turn up the page of pentacles for Gemini regarding love for the first half of December. Turn up the page of pentacles. Turn up the page of pentacles. For Gemini, regarding love for the first half of December. Let's see here. Oh God, Five of Pentacles. Like I said, you're you're trying to look at it differently. You're trying to look at the situation this person is is kind of putting you in. Especially because I keep getting this this energy like you know, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, you're very intuitive. Plus, we have the hair font on the board, hang man on the board, magician on the board. A lot of spirituality, intuitive shit going on here. You already know what's meant for you. You already know it's yours. It's supposed to be. Supposed to be. It's supposed to be yours. And you're like, well, when? When, 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 when? You're trying so hard to not let it drag you down or get you down. Which I think is also like just, a, you know, a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... And a testament to the energy I was picking up coming out of your heart chakra. You have a lot of strength and you're you're using a lot of it. <laughs> you're using a lot of it right now, okay? And for those where you're a student, you know, maybe you had to put up a lot of money to do the certification program or to do this uh, schooling program and you're like, God, is this going to pay off? It better, it better fucking pay off. This better pay off. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of feeling like I can't do this. Some of you are kind of feeling that way. Come over the five, uh, not the five, the page. Come over the page of pentacles. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Unpleasantness. Being unhappy. Being unhappy. You're trying not to be. You're trying so hard not to be. Time about Page of Pentacles. You're really keeping your head up high. Time about the Page of Pentacles. Don't mean to be telling on you. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Three of Swords. Pain. Pain and being uncomfortable. And I'm just getting irritated. I feel like you're irritated more so than anything, Queen of Cups, for those dealing with another individual. Even for those where you're a student. You're, you're more, you're more scared if you're in that student group, like, the, I really hope this pays off, I hope it can pull this off, I hope it can do it. You're, you're gonna be fine. You're clearly gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Um, but for those where you're dealing with this other individual, you're starting to get a little resentful. Yeah. Hold on, sorry guys, my neck's hurting. 
<sighs> I like some of you guys just did that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you're more resentful and irritated than in pain. But you're trying to do a good job of not like of not showing it and you're trying to look at it from a very like practical point of view like okay this is just what i'm feeling it's just what i'm feeling and i just i got i just gotta deal with that and not let this bother me talking about page of pentacles yeah queen, the queen of cups i'm tapped into you're very mature because you're like i can't control this person <laughs> You can't, right? You can only control you, which is why you're trying really hard to deal with the emotions you're feeling. And that's what I mean. It's like you keep feeling like this person like this person is putting you in a bad place, but at the end of the day, you know it's like you have to own up to how you feel because they're your emotions, not theirs. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. Now we have Hanged Man in Reverse, Piscean Energy. Yeah, you know. You're very aware. Uh, my Queen of Cups, I f yeah, and see, that's the other thing. See, this magician has a hangman with them um, for those dealing with another individual. You're very aware of where you are, what you're feeling, and what is the right choice. So you're trying to do that to the best of your ability. I do feel a little bit of maturity difference between you and this this masculine energy, um, just because it's like you do have the hangman upright and they're still kind of hung up. Like you're progressing, you're going on your path, you're doing what you got to do, even though you know at some point you're meeting at the crossroads you're supposed to meet at the crossroads you're trying to keep <laughs> oh so i can just feel you guys like i can feel your resentment um you're trying to do your best here and i think you're doing a good job over energy we do have the queen of swords libra could also be air or water again you're trying to do what's fair to you what's right for you you're very aware my feminine energies you're very freaking aware these two queens together hella intuition okay I wish we had the high priestess out here. Then I'd be like, your intuition on steroids. But you know, you know your situation. You know what you got to do. You're doing it to the best of your ability. And you're trying to let this person throw you off. You're trying not to let this person bother you. For those in this schooling certification group, again, same thing. You're very intelligent, by the way. <laughs> For those in that group, you're very intelligent. You're very smart. Uh, you're going to get through it. You know you will. You know that this is just the struggle. So again, you're trying to get through it with grace. Kudos to you. Let's look at this magician. So for those in that schooling group, it's just more about um, manifesting your destiny through getting through this program or certification group. It's hung up because you got to get through it, you know, got to get through the tough part and learn the ropes here. Or if it's a new job, learn the ropes. For those dealing with that other individual, here they are. So let's take a look at this magician. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, let's do spellcasters. They are a magician, so might as well. So I'm with a magician. Tell me about the magician for Gemini regarding love for the first half of December. I just heard June. June might have been significant. Or you, or you could be a June Gemini. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician for Gemini for the first half of December. Or you could be dealing with another Gemini, actually. Magician is mercurial. <clears throat> Talk about the magician. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, hmm. Ten of Cups in a verse. So unhappiness. Unhappiness. This person's not happy where they're at either. We'll see. We'll see what else we get. But they're they're not happy. They ain't happy. Okay, they're not happy. Um. For some, they're not happy with the people that they're around either. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. For some, their own environment's hindering them. For some. And for those who are in the schooling group, again, you're just really unhappy that you don't have your, that you're not there yet. You're eager to get there. <clears throat> Talk about the magician for Gemini for the first half of December. Two, wow, really? Two of swords in reverse. They know they're not happy. They know they're not happy and they know what they're supposed to do. Then why the fuck are they stuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're so irritated, Gwains. I can feel it. Again, even if you don't show it, deep down you're irritated by this. You're just trying really hard to like maintain your shit. Um, and again, for those in that schooling group, again, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. You know it's the hard time. You will get there. You know you'll get there. 
Time of the Magician. Time of the Magician for Gemini for the first half of December. <laughs> oh, really? The Emperor. Aries, Taurus, also is a Mars energy here. They already know what they have to do. They already know what they have to do. They have to be the emperor, take control of the situation, and do what they got to do. They already know what to do with the two of swords in verse. They know. They freaking know. Okay? They know. And for those in this schooling group or this schooling energy, um, you, you know it's going to pay off. Like I said, you know it's going to pay off. Some of you might actually need to ask for help from your actual mentor. Okay? Your mentor or your boss or your professor, or someone who's like even higher up on the board. Some of you might actually need to go the, to them for something. If that's the case, you already know what it's about. You don't need me to tell you. Overall energy, we do have six of pentacles. Oh, oh God, guys, okay. Sorry, I'm picking up on something for the schooling certification group. I feel like this is more for people in, in university or in a, some kind of program um, where there's someone actually trying to make your life miserable, okay? You're dealing with a professor or a mentor, or some advisor, or it's like someone who's really like, who really does not like you, really doesn't care for you, and really enjoys getting a kick out of making your life miserable. You just gotta go and handle shit. You're wondering what to do, you already know what to do with the two swords in reverse. You already know. You already know what to do, okay? Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Six of Pentacles is an energy of balance. It's also an energy of charity and giving and generosity. But they're hanging themselves. So again, for those dealing with a, with a masculine energy in a romantic situation or what have you, they already know what to do. Like quite literally, they know what to do. And they're hanging themselves up. And they're not happy where they're at, but they know what to do, but they're still not doing it. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Underneath that, we have the three of swords. Wow, three of swords in a verse with the ace of swords. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Uh-huh and the star. They already know what to do. They know. They know. They know they're supposed to come towards you, Queen of Cups. This is an energy of an olive branch as well. Like I said, giving, charity, come, going, going, giving, 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 right? Energy going out from them. They know that they're supposed to come towards you, Queen of Cups, to heal the situation because they know that you are their freaking path. Look at this. This is like, this is ridiculous. This is like, <laughs> They already know, and they're not doing it. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I, like, sometimes you gotta laugh at this shit. I think I said this before in another reading. Sometimes you gotta laugh, guys. Sometimes you gotta laugh when people, like, do this shit. They clearly know what to do, and they're clearly not happy not doing it. They're unhappy not doing it. So the fact that they're keeping themselves, they're keeping themselves hung up. They're keeping themselves hung up. I, like, I can't help but feel that way. Because they already know what to do. They're very clear on the situation. They're just not doing it. And Queens, you're getting you're really, really irritated, but you're trying really hard to like be mature about it, take the high road about it, because you know too. You're the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. You know. You know when they know. And they're staying hung. Well, you keep doing your shit. If this masculine energy is not careful, because you already are unstuck and they're still stuck, I mean, God, you have a shared destiny, though. I mean, it's like, it's so clear. You've got a sh the freaking Ace of Swords. you got a shared destiny. Uh, they might have even gotten, gotten this information through a download or their own intuition, but they're a magician. A magician would know. I'm just amazed that they're hanging themselves up. I just feel like if they're not careful, that, I don't know, I feel like Spirit might give them a big fat tower or something to be like, go. <laughs> Let's get your feet unglued from the ground and go. Sorry, I'm just trying to make light of the situation. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's very clear, Queens. Keep doing what you're doing, whether this is just school, right? Um, and you're just trying to get through really a tough time because there's someone higher up who's really trying to make your life hard and miserable unnecessarily. And if that's the case, you already know how to handle it. You already know what you got to do, okay? Um, but for most of you, I believe this is like you're dealing with a masculine energy in a romantic situation or setting or even a business setting. And you guys just have a shared destiny of creating a business together or some kind of foundation or home together. 
Uh, oh, I just heard center. Oh, interesting, center. So I mean, oh, some of you guys are gonna make a center together. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Oh, humanitarian center. Oh, I like that. Oh, well, if they get their shit together, uh, if they get their shit together and just do it. But queens, hang in there, you're gonna be fine. Hang in there, you know, push, you know, not push it down, but like deal, deal with the resentment you're feeling, deal with the irritation that you're feeling, you're gonna be okay. All right, so let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck any advice for my Gemini's any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Yeah, you're so annoyed because like you both know. That's the thing that's so fun. It's kind of funny because you both know, you both are very painfully aware, but there's no like direct honesty about it. And Queens, if you've been honest about it, you've been honest about it, but it's not, it's not two ways like at least one person and some for some both of you haven't been honest with each other in communicating that even though you both know wow any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread oh not taking that any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread okay well i will take those <laughs> those really jumped out oh jeez. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. 62, bring it down to an eight. And canary spirit, sing your own song. 12, bring it down to a three. Canary spirit is basically speaking your truth. Speaking your truth. And with turtle spirit, that's, I mean, that's very obvious. That's a slow ass energy. Ugh. The advice here is to be patient, queens. Be patient. Um, this person's really taking their time for God only knows what reason. Like, they literally know, they know exactly what to do. They're just not doing it. And like, and to me, like, maybe it's just because I'm not exactly patient. It's something I've been working on myself to be a little more patient with people. I'm not the most patient energy. I'm really not. Like, if I know to do something, I just do it. Like, like I, I just do it. I just do it. Like, there's no reason, like, why are you not doing it? Just do it. <laughs> but that's me. That's me. That's not everybody. But yeah, that's what this is. Canary Spirit is basically speaking the truth. Like I said, it's not two ways. Either both of you are not speaking the truth to each other or one of you is and the other one isn't. But both of you are definitely like not doing it reciprocally. Reciprocally? Is that a word? I don't know that's a word. Anyway, but with Turtle Spirit, Turtle's about like patience and everything in its own time and baby steps and queens. I can tell you were so frustrated with that, but that is the advice here. Um, the truth will be spoke. Yeah, the truth will be spoken in its time. And it's time, but I guess because I'm just really in your energy, Queen of Cups, I'm like, will it? <laughs> but that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Oh, uh, have fun in the meantime, Gemini. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. 51, break it down to a six. I'm also, oh, okay, warm up, warm up, warm up. I just heard warm up. Have a little fun. Have a little fun here, okay? Uh, for those in that schooling situation here speak up about the issues you're having with this professor or advisor i feel like it's university specifically but it could be a boss in a work situation definitely speak up about it and try to enjoy yourself okay try not to let it get you down still have fun and enjoy life there's a lot to enjoy outside of this situation for no matter which situation you're finding yourself in okay so queens try to enjoy yourself try to have fun they want to take their slow ass sweet time let them take their slow ass sweet time you got to go into you right any other advice for my Gemini's? Also, if, if communication is slowly starting to happen, be a little more warm with each other. Be a little warm with each other. Be a little playful with each other. It might thought out this person enough to start talking about it. And then we have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. 40 breaking down to a four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mouse spirit is a detailed energy. It's all about the details. It's all about the small things, the tiny things. I feel like you're trying too hard to look for an answer, Queen of Cups. Like, 
you're looking at it so hard like why like why 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 are they not doing this why is this why is that I feel like whatever the reason that they're hanging themselves up it's small they're hanging themselves up on the details that's what it is they're hanging themselves up on the details they're a little bit of a perfectionist interesting you're dealing with a perfectionist energy. For those where you're a student, you might be a little bit too much of a perfectionist here, okay? And that might be one of the reasons that this person has an issue with you. It's not a valid reason. You can't get you can't give someone a hard time at school or at work just because one person's a perfectionist and the other one's not. But I'm getting a, I'm getting perfectionism is the issue at hand for no matter which situation you're finding yourself in. Yeah, I feel like for those waiting on this masculine energy in like a romantic situation or even like starting a business together, they're perfectionist. They're not, yeah, they're perfectionists. They're, that's why they're hanging themselves up. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? And it's like the tiniest little things that don't actually matter. They're very trivial. This person's all about that. It could be a Virgo. It's very Virgo-ish, but not necessarily. But yeah, they're getting caught up on the details. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Overall, ooh, very nice. I love it. The wolf spirit, 67, breaking down to a four, stability. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So Queen of Cups, like I said, I think you're doing a beautiful job of trying to not let these emotions get the best of you, trying to handle your shit, trying to go about your business, trying to go about your day. Even if you're in the student group or waiting on this masculine energy in a romantic situation or wanting to start a business or some kind of volunteer center, I love that. Whoever's doing that, I love that idea. Again, if they can ever get their fucking shit together, right? Um, but Wolf Spirit is basically that. It's like, you've already learned a lot about how to handle situations like this. So just, I was about to say be confident and I look down, squirrel. Be confident. Understand the level of strength that you have, Queen of Cups, because you have a lot more than you realize, okay? Like I said, I was picking up on that really early on, where it's like, you you know what you're capable of, but not fully. Not fully. You're Wait a minute. What the hell? Maximum size reached? Video? I don't know what that message was about. I really hope my video didn't get messed up, because I thought I already had the second video message, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, so... Have the confidence to really understand your full power, Queen of Cups, and your full capacity to be resilient, to take on situations like this, to handle your emotions in a really healthy, really mature way. This is also an energy of being a teacher or a leader. For some of you where it's about a center, you might actually have to be like head honcho here. You might have to be head honcho or you might have to manage a lot of people or actually educate people. I'm getting a teaching with this. I mean, it is Aquarius with the four of wands. Um, Getting a little bit of a teacher vibe off of that. Some of you guys might not feel like you can actually do the job. You can. You totally can. And like I said, some of you are taking on an actual new career or going back to school or going to a certification program. You got this. You got this shit. You're never too old. You're never too young. You're never too whatever, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's about what you bring to the table. It's about what you bring to the table and it's about what you know, what you know as far as like your own limitations and capabilities are concerned, right? As long as you understand that, you can handle it. But if you don't, that's where you can get tripped up here, okay? I'm also getting for this masculine energy. They need to stop being a perfectionist and just go for it. Nothing is ever going to be perfect at the perfect time for anything, for anyone. Ever. <laughs> ever, okay? When it comes to big shit like this, it's like, look, destiny is destiny. Spirit's like, can you move now? Can you please start moving? Can you please start moving? Please, just do it. Uh, masculine energies I don't even feel like it's a confidence issue it's just understanding that it's fine as it is go <laughs> things are good to go just go and having confidence in that and having confidence that trivial stuff gets worked out as it should things always work out the way they're supposed to but if you keep holding things up we come back but if you keep holding things up because you need to make this perfect and that perfect and that little change this little change shit never happens right if you never go shit never happens right anyway this was a really interesting reading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys had a really great Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have a really great holiday season. Namaste.